Hi Scorpio, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are well. And this is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Scorpio. We can take a look at the cards. The cards can be our own GPS to help us navigate the events and the energies of the month. So let's see what the cards would like to tell us. Okay, let me just position these cards and frame. Okay, so we have the Hierophant uh, as our only major card. So, you know, we have a sense here that you're going to be thinking about structure and organizations and really conforming to. Uh, either society wanting you to fulfill certain responsibilities and to do so under the guidance of, of a mentor, of a religious figure, or someone like that. The Hierophant is about really, uh, you can see these disciples here, it's people following perhaps society's conventions or their practices. So often when we see this, this could be something related to the church. Uh, perhaps, you know, if you're in a serious relationship, you might be thinking about marriage, which is a, you know, a construct of society's conventions for relationships. So uh, this is about following kind of, uh, you know, what society is asking you to do, going to college, getting the certain type of job. This could also be someone like a professor or someone with some wisdom to share with you. So you may be taking advantage of that. So we have, what's interesting is that we have the power of some aces and we have this king and queen of cups. And through this, sen this sense of structure and tradition is the eight of cups. And in the eight of cups we see this person is walking away under the moon with his walking stick stick, leaving behind eight cups. And so this could be a transition. This could be literally travel that you may be thinking of getting away by yourself. But often this kind of goes to not feeling content and not quite feeling fulfilled, even though you have all these cups, that you still feel that you have to set out to find some fulfillment, to find satisfaction. And uh, it may be taking time alone to think things through. And that's what may be needed for you. So then we have the Five of Swords. And this indicates that you have had some, perhaps, some arguments, some battles with, with someone else. And whether you have made it a point to win, that's, you would know that. Or you may be saying, you know, this really isn't worth it for me. I'm laying down my sword and I'm going to walk away. And I don't need the drama. I don't need this stress in my life, which sometimes these arguments can bring. So you have a, a time in June when you're going to be dealing with perhaps egos, someone who wants to win at all costs, and of course that could be you. Um, it's just, you know, this is a minor card. These are things that we deal with. We deal with these battles for, uh, to come out on top. And these people are walking away. He's smugly, hol smugly holding the swords. So find a way to deal with, 
disagreements or pettiness or these battles that works best for you. And with this sense of strife here, we have the Queen of Cups, Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and this Queen of Cups, she is intuitive, she is loving, kind, considerate, and understands people's emotions. So she would be a wonderful person to talk to if you feel left behind, if you feel that you're losing an important um, discussion within your family, within a relationship. She is a excellent counsel. She's loving, intuitive, and she knows the secret. Just walk into a room and get a sense of how people feel and uses the intuition wisely. So within this love here that she brings and here this cup energy of walking away, leaving behind what you have, walking away from something, and you may want to be walking away from this situation here. We have these two aces. We have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Pentacles is a card of abundance. It's a card, and again, aces are blessings or opportunities from the universe literally handing you the pentacle. And this is yours if you employ practical thinking, if you write down your ideas, if you put a plan in place to make it happen, then you will have abundance within your life and you will have not only material comfort, but spiritual comfort as well, because that's what this card means. It's really happiness on a literal level. It could be, could suggest that someone's going to be paying you back alone. You could have an unexpected windfall. You could win a scratch off ticket. You could find money in the street. Um, you could be getting a rebate from a credit card. You just, you know, something is going to turn up for you in June. So here's this card of, of security and abundance. And then here is the intellectual companion with the ace, which is to use your head, use your head, pierce this crown and use your logic and your skills and the research that you've gained to either have a new way of thinking, and perhaps it's a new way of thinking with respect to interactions with people, but it's really slicing through and focusing on the facts, focusing on the issues, on both sides of the issue. This sword is, is strong, it's powerful, and it gives you the opportunity to really point that blade right at the heart of the matter of what you're dealing with. So, you know, maybe you're uncomfortable with the structure of society or things that are being imposed upon you and you want to walk away from that and you've been having to sit, you know, these battles about that. And you may have this Queen of Cups within your circle who is loving and is listening and is helping. And then you have this power blast of the aces from a grounded perspective and from an intellectual or rational perspective as well. So you really have to focus on capturing and using this energy to, uh, to move forward. And again, as you move forward, you feel that you are defending yourself. You're defending your ideals with the seven of wands, defending your ideals. You're defending your beliefs. You have an advantage, um, but this is a matter of either protecting yourself or uh, uh, just really beating people back who are not supporting you. That's what I get a sense of here is that you really have to use your personal power. I'm going to use my wand here. <laughs> you have to use your personal power to stand up for what you believe in. And the King of Cups is kind, sensitive. He's a healer. 
He goes with the flow. He lets water. He's, he's emotionally in tune. He's a master of emotions. So, you know, this may be an emotional time as you deal with these things, but you have experience here with emotions. You have some solid experience, either family members or energies that you're going to be able to use to help you. So the King of Cups, Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Queen of Cups. We have all elements here shown shown in the reading, and we have just the Hierophant as the major card. So really this big idea for this reading is it's about tradition and structures and following a certain path. That may have been causing some upset within your life, but, you know, seize the day with the, with the aces. Take advantage of these opportunities to use clear uh, communication, to use clarity, to bring the truth to a matter, to look at the facts, and to get rid of the nonsense, the stuff that's not helping. And the Ace of Pentacles is, is put your plan into place and be practical with it, and it will serve you. You will have abundance. You will have to defend yourself at some point in June, and you have, again, more loving, sensitive energy. If you are, if this relates to you, if you're really focused on love and um, relationships, you know, this is someone who is loving and kind and a good person to have within your life. And if you're dating, this is the kind of people that you want to date because they're in tune emotionally and they're sensitive. So let's see really what's on, t in t on tap for you for love. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from you, your usual type and expectations. So isn't that interesting? Because that is a sense of, it's a sense of uniqueness, which is, you know, when you're, when you differ from your usual type, you sometimes have to defend your choices to people because they really don't see you as someone and they may give you a little flack for that. And when you um, the expectations, I think, comes through this hierophant of what people may assume or may expect you to be dating or to be uh, spending time with. And when you uh, move away from that expectation, it can sometimes ruffle people's feathers because they want a certain type for you. Interesting. So let's choose another oracle card to get a sense of theme and uh, perhaps a meditation point. And this says, new beginning. Thank you, angels, for opening up the doors to change. I am ready. So new beginnings start with the seeds that are planted with these opportunities and these blessings from the universe that the aces bring. And the new beginning Perhaps as you walk away or leave something behind, as you handle the arguments, as you fill up on the love from friends or from partners, when you get through all of this, you have opportunities uh, that bring happiness and fulfillment and abundance spiritually and materially and in all areas to you. So Scorpio... I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading and um, that something resonated. If it did, and if you haven't already, please subscribe 